All right, welcome back to the channel. This is Model Rocks 321. This is the Apollo 11 Saturn V build video. I'm excited to get this one started. It's been a long time coming. I always wanted to build one. Over the years, I built everything else. Um, or a lot of them, not everything, but scale is my thing. I got away from it a little bit here lately. I was scratch build some stuff, uh, some scale ones. I had the Mercury um, Lojo 1. I scratch built the Lojo 2, and I bought the Estes Lojo 2. You know, I have, I have some kits, so it ain't no thing. So I've been wanting to do this one. You know, it's a skill level, what, skill level 4, I believe? 3 or 4, I forget. The box not around. Where's the box? Oh, skill level four, so I'm ready to get this started. Um, I already have some stuff done. What's going to talk about what I'm going to use? I'm going to be using this um, Gorilla Glue. I have the Elmer's Wood Glue here also. Both are great, so I'll be using one of these. Um, I also have my pencil. I'm going to need that, probably exacto knife. This little engine spacer. I'm going to be using this E-engine hook because that's the only one of the only upgrades I'm going to use. I'm going to make it so it can fly on the longer motors. Instead of just the D12 three size engines, um, it's recommended, but they also made a version that flies on the longer motors. So that's what I'm going to be using. I already have the uh, motor mount marked off for the D, but I'm going to have to switch this up and make it just a little bit longer so it'll fit the E engine. Just nose block will have to go up a little bit further. So that's one of the upgrades, just a bigger engine. I'm also going to use these um, these fairings, these fin fairings and with the, with the already 3D printed fins attached. Instead of the vacuum formula that it came with, this is the only other upgrade. Everything else will be standard and stock. So that's my um, that's the plan. So we're going to get this started. And um, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Please send it to somebody. Hit that like button if you're here. And subscribe. Also, check me out on Instagram at ModelRockets321. And this rocket will be flown. Once it's all done, there will be a launch video of the Saturn V of my version. I'm going to do it as stock and standard as possible, other than those two upgrades, and let's get started.
All right, at step four, if you're building a Saturn V, they call for putting a bead of glue around the inside ring after you have the motor mount inserted with the first ring. And then you'll push it in and the glue will drag the center ring and the last ring up to about three and three eighths inch, well yeah, three and three eighths inch inside of here. But that's gonna leave a, leave a residue of glue around the inside of this tube. And the step after that, you have to insert a one inch reinforcing ring, it's called. That'll go in the bottom. I think that's where the little uh, display nozzles will go and butt up against it. But please be very careful because that, so that one inch ring is a very tight fit. And you have to leave a quarter, like three quarters um, apart, you know, three quarters space at the back of the ring. So you have to be very careful with that because that ring is a tight fit. And if you already have glue in there, it can get kind of wonky and crazy. I already, I cut it. I put a little cut in mine. I'm just going to butt it up once I get it inserted because it's a very tight fit. It's kind of problemsome. So I did a line. I marked off my marking, um, the line inside of this tube using a ruler just so I can get an exact fit. And everything should be fine from there. But that's just something to look out for in step four of the Saturn V. And this is kit number 2157. It's the black box, um, one of the newer versions, the limited edition. Yeah, Apollo 11 um, Saturn V. So just something to look out for. It don't call for this cut, but I'm doing this because it'll make it easier for me to put inside and just fit it back together while the glue is still wet. Just something to look out for. Step four. All right, so completing up step four, I have the ring, the reinforcement ring glued inside the tube. I did my method. Um, I put a little cut in it just to, so it'll fit good. And um, I put another line inside there with the three quarters of an inch hanging that it hasn't been glued. So we're good to move on. The motor mounts in, engine hooks there, have glue reinforced on both ends of the tube. You probably can't see down in here because I have the camera mounted, but the centering ring is glued to the other side of this tube. So I'm gonna proceed. The next step is to extend these lines. You may see little marks here. I'm gonna extend circles all the way around per the instructions. That's the last step in step four. I'm going to use a sheet of cardstock. I'm going to just cut me a little, a little guide, something to make the, the lines perfectly symmetrical and round. All right, guys, so I proceeded and moved on through stages or part five, six, and seven in the instructions. That is the third, straight, the third stage transition, which will include this shroud right here, which will be a transition, actually. And I went on to do the LEM slash SM portion. This, is, this will go on top of here, and there will be a shroud, which is here, which will be built up. This is all just heavy-duty cardstock. You have to glue a tab on and I will and it's the same with this one you have to glue a tab and you have to curl these glue them and then you'll attach it here so that's where I'm at right now I'm going to move forward um, doing these because everything here is dry so far it's mostly dry um, here's a little loop here you had to do with the string because your shot cord and everything will attach there and the next also the next part part eight is building the display nozzles which will be the five engines um, display nozzle. It's a removable piece that will go under the bottom for display. You'll take it off during flight. And that will be made with this part right here. This will get glued on and I'll have, I have the nozzles and everything. I'm thinking of saving that for last just so I can get moving on to the wraps, which are the body wraps with the um, 
corrugated parts and it's a few body shrouds and a couple other things I got to do. So that's where I'm at so far. Sorry if I didn't show this stuff. I had the camera charging. So, but this is it. It took a centering ring here, centering ring there, glue those together and you slide this tube on. Also, you had to do this little loop knot piece that's going to hold the, the uh, shot cord. And this was similar, just a smaller version of it, centering ring, centering ring with a piece of body tube right here. There is going to be a point where I'm going to just do, going to be filling body spirals in the main body and on these tubes, depending on how far up the transition go. So I'm going to, you'll see a part where I'm going to be filling the body lines. So that'll be, that'll slow things down. I just want to do all that, get that ahead, you know, get ahead, out ahead of that. So I don't want to have the whole thing built and have to go back and do that. So I just want to do that as I go along. So stay tuned. All right, so the Saturn V body is all sanded. This step right here is just wiping off all the dust. And after this, I will be gluing on the corrugated wraps and the body shroud and all those other detail parts to give it that distinct look. Um, I will also, once, that, once the body wraps are on, I will begin the priming process. So that's, we'll find further imperfections. And if I see any little areas of, um, where spiral is still showing. I'll fill it and sand it. Now just begin the uh, priming process. So if you're planning on flying this on the D12-3 engines, lightly primer it. Don't build too heavy. Don't use a whole lot of glue either. So I'm planning on flying it on Aerotech stuff. Some a little heavier, E15s, E20s, stuff like that. So I'm gonna build, you know, 
going to use be at liberty with a little more glue and things like that and primer so i'm going to prime it we'll get the wraps on primer the whole body and just look for imperfections again sand that and then hit it with another light coat of primer until i get it until it's um, very smooth right now it's really smooth it seems like i got all the grooves filled and um we're going to take it from there all right so begin cutting out the wraps I already pretty much not began i already did it so I cut out all the wraps and just placing things and just seeing how things fit before I start to glue it. This is something that one of the important steps because the glue I'm going to use is really strong. It's a spray adhesive. Um, you got to wait till it get tacky and you stick it on there and you wrap it. There's lines. I'm going to go back and redo the lines because my sanding um, kind of took some of the lines away. <clears throat> so I'm just going to make sure everything is placed well. Um, these go together. This is the upper stage wrap. It's <clears throat> the lower stage, the first stage wrap. And... It's the cooling wrap, and uh, they all had different names, which I'm not you know, familiar with all of them as we as we sit here right now. But um, that's so that's the next next phase, getting the wraps put on and check the fit one more time. So stay tuned, and we're gonna move with that. All right. All right. So I'm gluing the wraps on. The way I'm doing it um, is I'm using the spray adhesive. The Super 77 by 3M. And what I'm doing is I am masking off the sections that are going to be glued. So I put mask here. This part's going to be glued. And I'm going to mask this section off. And I'm going to spray the glue on. I'm going to remove this because this is not glued yet. I'm going to remove it, spray the body with the adhesive. Then I'm going to spray the inside of the wrap. Let both of them dry, they say 15 to 30 minutes, you can let it sit. Then I'm going to pancake them together. And once I stick it, it is super tacky, you cannot remove it. So I have to get this right. I already did the lower, the first stage is down here. That's glued already, I should have showed you guys that. But that's already glued. Next I'm going to do this second stage, or I guess this is still the first stage, but cool. I forget what it's called, but I'm going to do this part next. And this is a very tricky part, and you also have to have these tube lines, these uh, tank lines lined up this line I drew the lines already and they go all the way up to the third stage I believe so that's what I'm doing right now um, very difficult I see why it's skill level five so you really have to pay attention and know what you're doing and make sure things are lined up or you can mess something up and then this glue like I said this super 77 let me move up this spray adhesive right here I'm doing this we're used to pancake it together you put glue on one side glue on the other and you stick them together like a sandwich and they are it's strong it will not come apart so I have to get this right so I, I do a couple practice runs once I get my other masking on this side I'll do a couple practice wraps just to make sure I got it all in mind before I put it down so that's what I'm doing all right so now the top section is masked off I'm going to remove this wrap I'm going to spray it with the glue or the adhesive. Then I'm going to spray the inside of this with the adhesive. Let both dry. Now we'll stick them together. I'll do the wrap. Stick it to the body. Um, Got to get this right first shot because this stuff is super, super tacky or sticky. One shot, it will not come off. So that's what I'm doing. All right, so my second wrap went on well. I'm going to remove the masking tape that I was using just to mask off the sections and to protect the rest of the body from this spray adhesive. So that went well. Um, all right. So that's that piece. bottom first stage you can see here the fins will go here so yeah so there we have the second wrap on a little tunnel or the tubing alignment so these have to be done you know so you have to really be careful so I can see where this rocket is definitely skill level four you know you gotta 
have your game together and have your stuff planned out what you're going to do because the instructions tell you what to do but you have to you're the one executing it so you still have to perform these tasks so moving on to the next um next stage it's going to be the next wrap i think that's the third stage wrap all right all right upper stage is all masked off ready for spray adhesive spray to the body then spray on the inside of the wrap wait for a little while then stick them together all right so saturn 5 all the wraps are on and in place you can see my pencil marks and everything from getting things just right i have a little gap here um just the way it worked out for me um i don't know everything was trimmed correctly so it just worked out i went more high got that little gap but i'm not worrying about it everything else is smooth and on pretty good all the way up until i gotta add the capsule but all the detail parts are all way, are all on so far except for some of the tubes and the conduits there's a conduit that's going to run right here like a tunnel raceway whatever that's going to run there and the fins here they are i showed these i showed these earlier these are 3d printed from boyce aerospace they will go on this saves me some time instead of building up those other ones i saw these and i said you know what they're going to be stronger and you know it's all solid one not solid it's a lightweight material so it's not, not going to bother the launch at all i don't believe so i have these to add this is the display nozzles the display engine that you can build and then you can insert it there's a tube around here for that it's over behind me so we have that and here's my raceway and cable parts for the detailing up top i just showed you so there's going to be some sanding and filling parts once they get glued on unless i can do them before i glue them on i'll probably do them while they're on the rocket actually so those I have, this little piece, this keeps showing up. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to move that. Also, I have the capsule. There's the capsule. There's the retro rocket on top that goes on top. This engine goes over here. And here's the lattice structures and the nozzles. I can see those. They'll go on the side of the main, the LEM. So they'll go up there. This is all detail parts for up here. I actually saw... On eBay, I may do this a high gloss, a high silver. I may do some silver aluminum to get this. Instead of painting it silver, I think I have some silver aluminum I can do my thing with to make it shiny like the real one. Add just a few details. I don't want to add too much. I won't add any weight, but this is how things are going. And also, we have the launch lug. And there's this little piece of wire that's used for your um, re-entry. So when your parachutes come out, it's going to bring down the capsule section pointing upward instead of pointing down. So you use that wire as a little anchor point. So yeah, everything is looking good here. I have the decals over there, but I'm still a ways away from getting this all done. But it's going good so far. Like I said, I'm so happy with the, the way the wraps and everything went on. Nice and smooth using the 70, 77. I'll go back and use an eraser and get all this off. And continue with the build. So, Model Rock Street 2, 1. Alright, so I have all four fins are glued on looking good you can tell the 3d printed stuff from the vacuum formed or styrene molded ones however they do that i forget the process but get her on and they're good i use epoxy i try to keep it light it does that add a little weight but they're on strong and we are good saturn 5 is coming to life making some progress got the Display nozzles are built, still touching those up. Let me adjust this camera. Yeah, the display nozzles are here, still touching them up. I'm getting the, uh, going to get a little bit of weathering on there. Just tone that silver down a little bit. Make it look like the ones that are on display or the ones that have flown. Um, here I have the raceways. They're all sanded. And I put, this is just a coat of um, filler on them. They got to be sanded down further to their smooth. And then I'll glue those on. The tower structure with the retro rocket on, on top, that is complete. Just got to be glued on. There's an option to leave it not glued on, but I'm going to glue mine on. I think with the angle that it will recover, the third stage recovers like this with the parachute up top. So I believe it'll be fine. I'm going um, to glue it. I don't want to fly it without it. I've seen some people fly without it. That's fine, but I want mine glued on. Um, also touched up here, I added more glue. Underneath here, I'll use some CA under these seams just to keep it from um, peeling apart. So that's good. And this is all solid. Everything's pretty much ready to go. Just parachutes got to be made. Got to get these raceways glued on. There's a couple, there's another wooden slat 
I have that behind me. It's on my other workbench. So other than that, we are moving along with the build. Saturn V is coming along, so stay tuned. All right, so this is a leap forward. A um, few things have happened. The main body has been painted with the flat white. Um, I hit the whole main body with the flat white, and I've masked off the black sections with flat and uh, with the masking tape and spray painted that with the flat black. So you see all this section. There's a lot of paper and stuff here because it is complete. This is the final steps. It's pulling off all this masking. Um, this is flat black. I used the testers, model masters. And I ran out of that and then I just started using the standard testers flat black, which is great. Testers make great stuff. And I noticed that on the testers cans, I guess they were they're in a partnership now or got bought out by Rustoleum. So I so saw unless they always been together, I never noticed. But anyway, this is all complete. I got a lot of areas masked off where it's supposed to be white and underneath is the black. The roll patterns are complete. So when I pull it off, it should look like that. I took my time to make sure there's no bleeding. I know when I did the, the original sections down below, I'll show you there's a little overspray. But actually, it got covered up because it was showing on this part of the fins of uh, silver. So um, we should be good. I'm going to go ahead and start pulling this off. And we will move to the later stages and get this complete. This is nearly done, except for this section here is silver. This is the command module section and the RCS nozzles will have to be glued on. So I'm going to work out how I'm going to do my silver and get those nozzles on there and see if there's any more detailing I want to put on here because this is really it's really plain silver as they have it and you all, you all know the, uh, the module have tons of details. The Estes did supply in this mold it does has some details here some detailing some detailing but not a lot and even this part like the real one is this thing you know of course you can do whatever you want but these things are they have tons of details small details on them so we will move to peeling off the masking guys so there we have the upper stage tape peeled off um, the masking went went pretty well I have some spray some little leak here I can see a little bit got under other than that the, the rest looks pretty good this is pretty sharp here this line is pretty sharp look like I could have had more paint in there actually I can't believe I have still some white showing but I have some touch-up stuff I can do actually that, that wouldn't be too bad to go and mask off and spray again but this part here, really good. This is easy. This is a perfect round job. You know, no, there's nothing really to mess up there. Any little white flakes you see are just from the white paint. I can just go and like brush that off from the um, peeling off the masking. But yeah, overall, this came out pretty good. This section right here should dip below, so you probably won't see that. But other than that, pretty good. Pretty good. Not the greatest, greatest, but overall, not bad. Not bad. That little piece right there, I think masking tape. When I did the cover up for the black, the other side of the black, that piece right there it pulled up. But these little flakes are coming off. I can just brush those because that's from the uh, masking. This stuff had white on it too. So, but that's that section, and this will go on here. Uh, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So you can see, you can kind of get an idea of what we're working with for the Saturn V. So let's get the rest done.
All right. At last, the Saturn V is totally complete. Finished it up. It's clear coated with some flat clear coat. Shouldn't turn yellow over time. They say it shouldn't, but I've seen some <laughs> turn yellow. But anyway, it is done, folks. Um, this project is all done. I detailed the command module a little bit. You can see there. Not super accurate, but just wanted to put some because they had you just paint it silver and just put the RCS nozzles on. But I opted to do just a little little foil here just to give it that shiny look. Um, everything else is in place. I mean, some of the markings may be slightly off, but I cleaned it up a lot from a lot of that misting that got through my mask. But yeah, everything is here. Um, it is complete. Saturn V. Um, just want to talk about the decals a little bit. Estes gave this sheet here with the version I have. I have this one right here. It's an older one. Um, I forget the box. They don't have it. I even don't, they don't put the model number on the front. Oh yeah, here we go. So this was 2157. Yeah, so this was kit 2157. And um, with this one, they made a mistake with the decals. The letters and those numbers right there, those Roman numerals, they didn't have the white backing. So these were ones that it came with. It came with both. They actually gave you this and they gave you this little note telling you to use these with the white backing. So that was the only issue is like a correction on their part. And there was some extra shroud line too. This has two massive parachutes, two big 24 inch parachutes for the body. And then this upper stage up here has one 18 inch parachute. And you use this method right here that will let this module, this whole section come down on its own. And this little string right here it's attached so it'll come down sideways so it don't come crashing down which i did glue the tower i glued it i don't like taking stuff off and then putting it on for flight i'm just i'm gonna fly it as it is as the real one flew so this is it the apollo 11 saturn 5 is complete these are the instructions you know the skill level at four kit four or five i always forget but either way it was um a solid build um you have your challenges when you got to get these wraps on you got to do some sanding getting some stuff together um getting some things smooth rather um it turned out turned out well though i'm really happy with it um initially once i seen that bleed through or there was that misting along these some of my seams i wasn't happy so i went back and touched it up and got it really got it really nice and i'm going to fly it um here really soon oh here's the display nozzles these can go in the bottom you know you left a, a left space I don't know if you'll be able to see my arm. Yeah. yeah, they left a little space there where you can put that nozzle in and display it, which I'll probably do. I'll probably put the nozzles in and just stand this guy up. There's the matte finish that I use. This is the clear coat I use, the Krylon. It didn't, it didn't attack the model, so it worked out well. Sealed the decals in. I did have to use some of the micro scale to touch up just a couple of the corners because they wanted to peel up. And you got to be careful with that micro scale. I had some clear coat on. And I use and I put the micro scale just touching it up with a brush and it seemed to have attacked it a little bit um, or it got really weird on one of my decals. I think it's this D one. Which one is it? Yeah, this one. It made it get like a got kind of warpy looking on the letter D. I'm not sure if you can see that or not right there. It got kind of warped. So I was very careful just because it peel, was peeling up a little. Yeah, that's one thing about these decals, man. They like to... Some of them tried to peel up on me, but for the most part, they were good. The flags went on good. The United States markings went on good. These roll patterns, black and white markings went on good. Everything else went, went pretty smooth for the most part. Went pretty good. But yeah, like I said, I'm happy with it. The Saturn V, um, it's a big one, 43 inches tall. It's like stands up past my waist. I will be flying it soon for you guys. Um, so look for that video. I have some engines here. I'm debating on what I'm going to do. I have some E15s. I had these E20s and I bought this pack of E124s, brand new. Um, these are known to, <laughs> I've had some Kato's with them and some failures. So I hope this does these work, but regardless, I'm gonna fly it. Um, and I have some E30T. I think that could put it up there pretty good. You know, I um, just wanna get it off the ground really nice, nice, strong, powerful boost. But these are the motors. I'll probably try to do one of each. Um, start probably off with the E12. I think other people have had success getting this rocket off the ground on the E12 motor. E20 white lightning. I definitely, definitely want to see the flame. That would be nice. So that's the plan for this one in a week or two um, to get this guy off the ground. 
that is the mighty Saturn V all complete and that's about it for now model rocks 321 hope you enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel hit the like button um, if you get one take your time and build it nicely build it slow I don't build like it took me a while because it's because I don't I have to be in the mood to really build so I don't you know jump in and just you know finish it all in a week or two I'll do a little here a little there sit it aside I'll come back just take my time I just take my time with my builds and there you have it folks this is model rocks 321 subscribe to the channel hit that like button and see you on another video be sure to visit the Model Rockers 321 Space Shop for logo tees, mugs, and other space-related merchandise.